In this video, I want to show you how you can find patterns of different types of numbers. So this is the first set of numbers. You've got 2, 7, 15, 26, and 40. So we want to find a rule of this number pattern. Okay, so what I've done is I've made uh, four columns. One is X, Y, y first difference, second difference. I'll explain what. So one, so what are we going to say? The, your first number in this sequence is two. Okay, the second number for the sequence is seven, 15, 26, and 40. Okay, so this is your sequence. So we want to find the relation between, there is some rule we, which can, or it does define this number sequence. Now to find the rule, we'll need to find the difference, the first difference and the second difference. Now what does that mean? So you find the difference between these two numbers and you write the difference here. So 2 or 7 minus 2 is 5. Or you can also do 2 plus 5 is 7. So 7 plus what gives me 15? So well, 7 plus 8 is 15. Or 15 minus 7 is 8. Okay. Now 26, 15 plus what gives me 26? So well, this is 11. 15 plus 11 is 26. So 26 minus 15 is 11. And finally, can you see a pattern here? So this is 5, this is 5, 8, 11. So the next number difference should be, this is increasing in threes. So the next number should be 14. Does it make sense? Yeah, so 26 plus 14 is 40. Okay, so if you go back, so if you want to write this number, so this is increasing, so let me write the second difference, I'll come to that. So the second difference is constant, so this is 3, this is 3, and this is also 3. So if you go backwards, what number should come here? The number that should come, so this difference is going to be again 3. The second difference is 3. So you can also go like this, 14 take away 3 is 11, 11 take away 3 is 8, 8 take away 3 is 5, so 5 take away 3, or 5 minus 3 is 2. So if this is 2, this number that goes here should be 0. So does it make, does it make sense? So 0 plus, so the first difference is 2 here, so 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7, uh, uh, 7 plus 8 is 15, and so on. Okay, so yeah, this is a quadratic pattern. So as the second difference is 3, it's constant. So we can say the second difference, second difference is constant, is equal to constant, or they are same. So this should lead me to make the statement. This implies this is a quadratic pattern, quadratic number pattern. So a quadratic number pattern has this formula. If this is y and this is x, there's a relation between this y and this x, which is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Where a, b, and c are numbers, are real numbers. Okay, now this is the first rule. Okay, the first rule is your a rule number one, your A is always half of the second difference. So that is three divided by two. I'll repeat it again. A, which is the coefficient of x squared, is always going to be the half of this number. So that is A should be 1.5. Your C, the second rule is, C is the number of y when x is equal to zero. So this is your C. This gives you C. This number is C. And this number tells you from this number you can get A. Okay, so this A is always half of this number. And C is this number that goes with X or the Y value for when X is 0. So your C is 0. Okay, so now we can write, let us write the equation again. Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. So we'll not, now we're going to substitute. We know A is 1.5 and C is equal to 0. So let us put this back 
in this equation. So in place of A, I'm going to put 1.5, and in place of C, I'm going to put 0. So A, Y is equal to 1.5 X squared plus B, I don't know B, so I'll have to write B X plus 0, C is 0. Now you don't need to write 0, so you can write, this simplifies to 1.5 X squared plus B X. Okay, now we need to find out B. So as a rule, you can will write the third rule. The third rule is put x is equal to 1, put x is equal to 1, and the corresponding value of y. When x is 1, what is y? So to go back to the table, let's go back to the table. When x is 1, y is 2. Okay, so I'm going to put x is 1 and y is equal to 2 back in this equation. Okay, so this is back substitution. So in place of y, I should put 2 is equal to 1.5 times x is 1 squared plus b times 1. So what will happen? So this is 2. Let me write 2 better. So 2 is equal to, this is 1.5 times 1 squared is 1 plus b. Okay. So if you take away 1.5 from both sides, so let me take away 1.5 from this side. So you have to take away 1.5 from this side. So this is solving simple equations. So let me write 1.5 properly. So this is 1.5. So this and this gets cancelled. So B is equal to 2 take away 1.5 is 0.5 or half. So our equation now ends up that Y is equal to 1.5x squared plus 0.5x. Okay, so this is your answer. Okay, so let's check the answer whether it makes sense. Okay, so let me get the calculator out. So this is my simple calculator. So what are, what are we saying? So let me write the equation again. Okay, so let me write the equation again. So y so I want to see the equation y is equal to 1.5 times, so let me write it on this side so that I can see the equation. So y is equal to 1.5 times x squared plus 0.5x. So we need to check whether this equation does make sense. So we are saying there's a relation between y and x by this formula. So let me get the graphic. This is a better calculator. So, when x is 0, so let's put 0, okay? So, if you put 0, you go 1.5 times 0 squared plus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times 0. I hope you can understand that should be 0. So, let us change this to 1 now. If you change that to 1, so let me delete it. Oops. So, so, so let me cancel again. Let me type it again. 1.5 times 1 squared plus 0 0.5 times 1. That is 2. Can you see? When x is 1, y is 2. So if you go 1.5 times say 2 squared plus 0 0.5 times 2, that gives me 7. Uh, what did I do? Yeah, it is 7. Yeah, the, this is the second difference, OK? So this is the first, okay, let me show you, that is 7. Okay, when x is 2, y is 7. When x is 4, this should be 26. So let me do it again, 1.5 times 4 squared plus 0 0.5 times 4, that is 26. Now I'll show you how to do this on a graphic calculator. The cal graphic calculator will give you the answer, okay, but this, those who can use the graphic calculator, this is a good tool to check your answer. So what you do is, it's a bit tricky, but uh, we'll have to go to stats menu, okay? And so you have to, in list one, we're going to enter the X value. So I'll say zero, one, two is enough, okay? So let me put two more, three, okay? So three, points you have to put. So when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 2, 
when x is 1, y is 2. Okay, so let me remember. So this is 0, 2, 7, 15. Okay, so 0, 2, 7, 15. So we have entered, what, what have we done? We have entered the x and the y coordinates. So we are now going to tell the calculator to draw the scatter graph. So you go to graph and go to your settings. So this should be a setting. We are going to draw a scatter graph. Your x list, your x coordinates in, is in list 1 and your y coordinate is in list 2. So then you go exit and then you graph it. Can you see these are the points? This is 0, 0, this is 1, 2, this is 2, 7, and 3, whatever. I don't know. And then you go calculate F1. And we know this is a quadratic equation. You have to type in F4. And can you see the, the graph has, the calculator has given us A is 1.5, your B is 0 0.5, and C is 0. Okay, now you can also draw it just to see this is okay you can also copy it okay this is if you can copy execute copy okay so if, now if you go to your graph menu the calculator has copied from the stats menu to the graph menu so you have to so this is and then let's change the scale from 0 to 5 and on y i'm going to change from 0 to 50 scale of 5. So this is a graph. And then we want to see that when x is 4, what is y? So g solve and y calc when x is 4, just to check. When x is 4, y is 26. Okay, so let us say, go one more, y calc when x is say 2. When x is 2, y is 7. 